Hello friends, this is the MC Aim and this is my quick review of Carte Noir's Espresso Lungo Classic Nespresso Compatible Coffee Pods and yeah, on a recent visit to um, b and I remembered that I'd tried the other um, coffee pods that they do, the ones in the pink box which are the Intense and yeah, I didn't really fancy these ones because they look I don't, for some reason they look quite weak um, to me so hopefully my um, thoughts are not um, will not prove right um, I cannot remember what strength the um, intense were I think they were a strength 9 I think I'm not entirely sure um, but yeah let's take a look at the pack hopefully like the um, ground coffee I've done from Carte Noir quite recently um, this is an, in French so selection exclusive um, well it is in a bit of French here so there we go and there we go compatible with Nespresso machines 10 pods um, Carte Noir are produced by Lavazza these days so there we go, it's got it in different languages. So yeah, the Intense was a number nine and this is a number six. So that's why I've sort of um, put off trying them because I'm not really into the sort of weaker end of the coffees. And this says it's a balanced pure Arabica coffee with a slight acidity, floral and caramel notes. And there we go, ground coffee in capsules, packaged in a protective atmosphere. And 56 grams, so that's what, 5.6 grams a pod. And contact information there as well. And the best before date on these is the 30th of the 8th, 2020. So around about a year on the best before date and i think that's going to be it for the pack and there we go intensity number six classic so that is it for the pack let's take a look at the pods the last ones were like a bright very bright orange uh, pink color so yeah these are pretty much the same very bright it's like a sort of workman's vest fluorescent color um, um, on the inside of the box here has it got any English for me to yeah it's just telling you the different um, strengths that they do and pure origin Colombia Brazil and these are the two that I've tried are the longos which are the classy and the intense so I haven't tried these pure origin yet either and um, as I say just the couple of these ones so one two three four five of them that I haven't tried yet um, I don't think so I'll have to get round to trying those at some point I haven't seen those in the shop though so yeah plastic um, pods an interesting design they're not, they're not just the typical um, pods they've got a sort of interesting design to them Foil top and bottoms, let's see if we can get that to focus there, it just says Carte Noir Lungo and yeah, the, the foil bottoms as well, so yeah, what I'll be doing is, I'll be trying these out over the next couple of days as I normally do and I'll come back with my more detailed thoughts. So I've had the chance to try these out and taste wise I hate to say it but they're very bland. I much prefer, preferred the intense pods in the pink box. These are very slightly caramelly and they are quite sweet so I didn't need to add any sugar with these and they're slightly biscuity but I've drank nine of these pods before doing this review trying to squeeze every last bit of my tasting ability to try and get something from this coffee but even though it's quite strong it's just a very basic taste experience nothing unpleasant though and they are decent quality but just very boring in flavor and instantly forgettable 
So my advice is, unless you like a weak coffee, give these a miss and try the intense pods instead or give them both a miss really and try maybe say Asda's pods which I sort of rate um, quite highly compared to other supermarkets. So that's my quick review. I didn't really rate these ones. I had a feeling that they'd be quite boring compared to the intense which I uh, reviewed a while ago. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried these pods or any of the other Carte Noir coffees that seem to be appearing in stores um, recently. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee re reviews in the future and you're not subscribed, please do so. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.